Hi, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing good. So in today's video, we will be covering all the details regarding the CUET PG 2023. Yeah, common university entrance test for postgraduate programs. If you want to do your postgraduate programs across the best universities in India, then it is mandatory for you all to go for the CUET PG. So you can ask like only the best universities takes place. Apart from that, various private universities, all central universities, deemed universities and state universities will also take place in the CUET PG 2023. So students, I insist you all to just make a check whether your desired universities come under the CUET PG so that you can start your registrations from now itself. Before getting into the video, I just want to make sure that you verify this information bulletin so that you could have an idea of what is the paper code for you and along with that you can also able to know what are the universities offering your master's program and also the eligibility criteria like all the details is clearly mentioned within this information bulletin. No difficulties for you all. So just make a note of this paper code so that will be easy at your time of registration. Students, now you can able to see this is the exam pattern of CUET PG. So after noting down your paper code, you would get the conceptual clarity of under which pattern you usually come under. So you can able to see the total number of question is 100. It is usually divided into part A and part B. You can see the part A totally consists of 25 MCQs and in part B it comprises of 75 MCQs depending upon your domain knowledge questions. So you can able to see the 25 MCQs have been asked from your language comprehension or verbal ability part. So if you come under the COQP03, you usually have this kind of question pattern. So after referring your paper pattern correctly, you can able to have an idea of under which category you usually come. So after that, for these paper codes, they used to have Again, the same here, part A comprises of 25 MCQs, part B comprises of 75 MCQs within your domain knowledge questions. So here, you know, MTQP01 to MTQP12 is usually for doing your MTech programs. So like that, find out your paper code and know under which category you usually come under. For second category, it consists of four subsections like 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, right? After that, when we come into the final category, comes under this pattern you can able to see this is the paper code which is general for all that is in the sense within that if the universities offers you like the paper code COQP12, COQP11 then you would be lucky because it is the general paper you don't have this domain specific subjects so 100 MCQs is totally from like language comprehension verbal ability like all the aspects mentioned here so you need not to go for this domain specific subjects Students, you could have a doubt like how many test paper can I able to select? So you have the liberty to choose up to 20 test paper codes. But it is not advisable to choose all those 20 test paper because just choose the test paper in which you want to do your master's program. And that's about the exam pattern here. When we look into this marking scheme of the CUET PG, so for every question it carries 4 marks and you would get 4 marks for every correct options. Apart from that, if you have marked any of the wrong option, then there will be a negative marking. So minus 1 mark will be deducted from the total marks that you have obtained from. And nextly, no mark will be reduced if you haven't marked any of the options. So students, make sure about the answer because if you not in the sense, kind Kindly ignore it or else the negative marking will take place. And students, there is no age limit for the CUET PG have been mentioned. But if the university that you are desiring to join have some age restrictions in the sense, you must qualify the age criteria which is offered by the university. So that's about the age restrictions. And when we see the important dates of the CUET PG, Firstly, dates of the examination, it is not intimated. If once intimated, we will intimate you through our channel. And then mode of the examination is conducted on computer-based tests and the exam will be conducted on slot 1 and slot 2. Students, if you come under the slot 1, then you must enter your examination hall at the timing of 8 to 9.30 a.m. If you come under the slot 2, then you must within your exam hall between 1 to 2.30. Yeah, my dear friends and students, we are here at the end of the video. I hope this video is helpful for you all. If you're still having any confusions about this exam, kindly comment it below. We would help you on that and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.